click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. Summary of Part 13 of the Holy Quran This part covers the remaining part of Surah Yusuf, contains complete Surah Rod and complete Surah Ibrahim. Remaining part of Surah Yusuf, the details of this have been mentioned in the previous part however, an important point was mentioned in verses 97 and 98 and that is to make the prophets a link towards Allah and then just argument was supported by Prophet Yaqub's statements. Besides, only the Holy Prophet and those who follow him have insight. It has been narrated that the perfect example of the followers of the Holy Prophet is Imam Ali and this verse has been revealed especially in the glory of Imam Ali. Surah Rod contains five important topics which are, the truth of the Quran. It is worth noting that the Quran is usually mentioned at the beginning of the verses which begin with the syllables, in order to challenge the opponents who call the Holy Quran a human endeavor. Oneness of Allah, He is the creator of the heavens and the earth, the sun and the moon, the night and the day, the mountains and the canals, the grains and the fruits of different colors, tastes and fragrances. Death and life, profit and loss are in His hands alone. Allah has appointed angels for the protection of human beings. Day of Judgment, the polytheists wonder how life will be put in the dead bones, when in fact the reason for surprise is not life after death, but the surprise is for those who thinks it's not possible. Prophethood, verse 8, for every nation a leader or a prophet is sent. Prophet said that I am the one who brought the message of Allah to my nation and Imam Ali is the one who will provide guidance to that message. The witness of the Holy Prophet being the messenger from Allah is Allah and the one who has the knowledge of the book, the Prophet gave the example of the personality of Imam Ali as the one with that knowledge. The eight attributes of the pious people are loyalty, mercy, fear of God, fear of the hereafter, patience, observance of prayers, charity and revenge of evil with good. The three signs of evil people are breaking the promises, absence of mercy and corruption on earth. Surah Ibrahim in this part indicates towards five important topics Oneness of Allah All the heavens and the earth are made by Allah He sent down water from the sky Then He brought forth for the human beings various kinds of fruits from the earth And made the waterways and the canals subservient to human beings The sun and the moon and the night and the day are in the service of human beings All that human beings ask for is granted by Allah His blessings are so great that even counting them is beyond the reach of human beings Prophethood, for the consolation of the Prophet it has been said that even with the previous Prophets, their people had adopted the same attitude of rejection, enmity and hostility which he is facing. Every Prophet has the same language as of his people. Some of the liars of previous nations have been mentioned. Doubt about the existence of Allah Almighty is discussed. It is mentioned that any normal human being cannot be a messenger. All nations insist on imitation of their forefathers. Day of Judgment, Hell is the place for the disbelievers and paradise is for the believers. The blessings of heaven and the horrors of hell are told in these verses. On the day of resurrection, after the reckoning, devil will say to those who are astray, the promise that God made to you was true, and the promise that I made to you was false. I did not force you, you believed me. I deceived you, now blame yourself instead of blaming me. Thanksgiving increases blessings and for the ungrateful there is severe punishment of Allah. The example of the deeds of the disbelievers is like ashes that a strong wind blows and blows away everything. The word of truth and faith is like a pure tree, its roots are very strong and its fruit is very sweet. The word of falsehood and misguidance is like an unclean tree, it has no end and even if it does, it is fruitless. Allah is not unaware of the deeds of the oppressors. Prophet Ibrahim's six supplications to his Lord are mentioned in these verses. Peace, O Lord! Make this city a city of peace and keep me and my children away from idol worship. Protection from idolatry, O Lord. They have led many people astray. So whoever follows me is from me, and whoever disobeys me, then you are forgiving and merciful. Sustenance, my Lord. I have placed my children near your house, which is your sanctuary in a barren land, so that they may establish prayer. So turn the hearts of some people towards them and provide them with fruits, so that they may give, thanks to you. The inclination of hearts, O Lord, you knows what we conceal or reveal, and nothing in the heavens and the earth is hidden from Allah. Establishment of prayers, O my Lord, make me one who establishes prayer and do the same for my children. O Lord, accept supplications. Request for forgiveness, my Lord. Forgive me, my parents, and all the believers on the day when the reckoning is established.